disruption of a more regular life along the Central Oregon coast moves forward this week with the reopening of hotels, vacation rentals and RV parks in Lincoln City. Cor Harlan shows us how they're trying to reopen and remain healthy at the same time. Cor. Yeah, this is a delicate balancing act, uh, Ken. Uh, while it is a major milestone for some tourist related businesses, it is not, according to Explore Lincoln City, a full throated come on down to the beach just yet. We're trying to ease into this as our businesses and lodging properties learn how to operate given the uh, the fact that we're still in a, in a pandemic. Non-essential travel is still discouraged statewide in Oregon as hotels in Lincoln City reopen. It is the long-awaited mixed message of reopening. They're not exhorting everyone to rush to Lincoln City just yet. Yet doors to hotels and motels are now open with some common sense restrictions in place. Lincoln County's had 10 confirmed cases of COVID-19. That's a relatively low number and they'd like to keep it that way. We'd like to see a manageable uh, group of people come down. Um, we want to make sure everybody exercises social distancing. We ask people to please be courteous when it uh, comes to wearing masks uh, and to please do so yourself if you're uh, in one of our shops or stores. To tide people over until the resumption of regular visits to Lincoln City, Explore Lincoln City has turned out a series of videos of all the good things that Lincoln City has to offer. It is not the same as being there, but it is a virtual reminder that the wonders of the Central Oregon coast will still be there when the pandemic is over. All right, and some of the restrictions that are in place on the hotels and motels, there's a, a minimum 24 hours between checkout of a guest and the cleaning of the room for re-rent of that room at hotels. So there'll be some delays in between guests to sort of uh, uh, make it a little safer for cleaning crews to get in there. Hope some of the virus, if it is in there, has a chance to subside. Uh, there'll be no daily room service for multiple night stays. Uh, and of course, pools, spas, gyms, and other recreational spaces uh, at the hotels and motels and properties, those will all remain closed. So yes, uh, there are rooms available for rent at the Oregon coast, but as like so many other things, uh, Ken, it will not be uh, your typical visit to the Central Oregon coast or any other coast for that matter. Yeah, uh, that, well, those are the times in which we live, but at least they're giving it a shot, trying to reopen. Well, we have lots of great resources for you on coin.com, and you'll find a section dedicated to the facts. Stay updated on the current advice for the community where you live as well. It's all on coin.com. All right, 541. Want to take a look?